Today's video is brought to you by PickBest. Hi guys, I'm Pixel Sammy and what are you doing today? In this video, we're going to do a new viral Instagram and TikTok trend which you can make perfectly well in Final Cut Pro. Of course, this particular method can be used in Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve as well but for this tutorial, I'm going to do it in Final Cut Pro. Before jumping into the main video, do make sure to subscribe to the channel, drop a like, comment down below and let's get started. So in the main Final Cut Pro timeline, just simply make your timeline, make it a vertical clip. In my case, I'm doing a full HD vertical clip and then just choose your pictures and your videos. It can be both pictures and videos. In my case, I'm using pictures, but it can be both pictures as well as videos. Anything works. Once that is done, just scale it up, make sure it is filling up the vertical frame properly well. I'm going to add some more pictures to this such as this one just like this once that is done what you have to do is go to a second clip and just drag that over the other clip just like this in a new layer in Premiere Pro there is a layer system but here you have to just remove it from the main timeline once that is done you guys have to just repeat the same process with all the next fewer clips as well just like this and then once that is done just go to the first clip just like this and then splice up the point of the second clip where the first clip ends just like this once that is done for this particular area i'm going to just drag on mask and just mask out the building just like this and just do the masking of the building it can be a building it can be a picture it can be a human being just mask them out just like this once that is done you guys will see that the building is just there without the sky and the first layer which is the first clip is behind of this particular video or the picture once this is done the effect is partly done it looks like this what you can do is just splice up the clip a little bit more just frame by frame or maybe just two frames or three frames just splice them up just like this once that is done what you have to do is you are individually making an animation you can do it at keyframes also but i'm doing it just with splicing the frames it is just easier because this is just a picture i'm going to just rotate the first one just like this the next one just like this and the last one will be as it is now it looks like this Looks cool, isn't it? Now this one is the first one and for the second one we will be doing it with the keyframe method so make sure to stay around. Now before we jump into the next part, let's go to the sponsors of this video PicBest. Now they are one of the leading ones out there for getting all kinds of assets, let it be PNGs, let it be poster templates, let it be banner templates, logo templates, presentation templates it's out there. I personally like their 3D modeling part where I can get all kinds of 3D models of cars and other kinds of objects in any kind of formats they have available. Another one which I personally like is this poster and banner templates which I regularly use for any kind of social media ads, any kind of social media posts out there. They are currently having a lifetime plan for 50 USD only for unlimited downloads but if you guys are on a budget you guys can absolutely test out using a free account and download some of the products first and if you guys like it you guys can try out the paid version. If this is something that interests you then do make sure to try out the link in the description right now. Let's head back to the main video. And then again splice up the third clip where the second clip ends just like this and here i'm going to just mask out the human being from the frame just like this this is going to take some time so i'm going to speed this thing up once this is done it looks like this now what you have to do is i'm going to set a keyframe to the position just like this at the ending of the clip just make sure to repeat this process a lot of times if you did not understand this so at the particular point where the playhead is like at the ending of the clip just like here just put a keyframe to the position and then go to the earlier part of the third clip so i'm going to move the playhead on this position and then just simply play with the rotation as well as the position make sure to keep both the rotation as well as the position as keyframes and just bring it out of the frame just like this and then done once the keyframes are put once the position is set it looks like this looks cool isn't it now you guys can repeat this process as much as you can with as many pictures as many videos as you can for videos when you're doing the masking do make sure to keep a keyframe to the mask path and the control points as well so that you guys can keyframe the masking too because it is a video on photos it is a bit easier so i am doing it just like this so repeat the process with as many pictures as you can and the final result something looks like this 